Hello and welcome from Trend Signal uh, for the review of the data and events uh, the week beginning the 16th of February. Um, just starting out, um, in fact, it's uh, George Washington's birthday or President's Day in the United States. So it's a bank holiday. Uh, there, the banks will be closed, stock market closed. The impact uh, tends to reduce liquidity, certainly towards the lunch hour when we would normally be getting uh, US markets coming in and uh, giving our European session a bit of a jolt, but uh, that won't be happening on Monday. Um, the data out this week is there's a few bits of data out. Um, it is actually uh, the Chinese New Year, uh, which is officially on Thursday the 19th, but in fact, the Chinese New Year spans uh, from Wednesday the 18th, 19th and 20th this week, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday and Tuesday next week. Uh, for those of you who follow the Chinese New Year and the signs of the zodiac, it is actually um, the year of the goat or the sheep, depending on which one you look at. Uh, but uh, So Chinese New Year this week, which uh, again will uh, perhaps uh, dampen down enthusiasm in uh, some of the Far Eastern markets, but they won't affect our markets too much. Um, last week was a particularly good week for equities. Um, even our FTSE, which has struggled with a, um, an abundance of mining and um, oil companies that have uh, dragged it lower in comparison to the other markets. But nevertheless, the FTSE it was up 20 points or just 0.3 of a percent, but it's its, highly we its highest weekly close since January 2000. So that's got to be seen as positive. Um, the Standard & Poor's S&P 500 up 41 points, another 2%, um, which is an extraordinary move. Um, they're just uh, making new highs every uh, every other day now. The Dow Jones also following it higher, 195 points up, 1.1%. Oh, the German DAX also uh, making significant gains as well, 190 points last week, or 1.76%. Uh, following on the uh, on from the very positive news on the GDP, the prelim GDP data announced on Friday, and obviously in light of the impending QE, the DAX has done particularly well. Um, so very, very positive there. The dollar had a bit of a, a modest setback last week. The dollar index was down about 0.62, uh, 65%, something like that, with the euro rallying um, modestly up uh, 70 pips. Sterling very strong, up um, nearly 1.5%, just under 1%. At one and a half cents, I should say, just under one percent, uh, on the back of some fairly hawkish comments from our uh, uh, Mark Carney, the governor of the Bank of England, about um, long-term targets on inflation, etc. Short-term uh, inflation will go negative, uh, which we call deflation. Uh, so that's something that will be uh, come into sharp focus tomorrow. Uh, that's tomorrow uh, on. Tuesday the 17th where we have the release of the consumer price index here in the UK in, in the UK expecting a number of 0.3 percent Mark Carney warned us that uh, the price could go below zero which would be deflation so at some stage maybe not uh, tomorrow but we are expecting that uh, ZEW sentiment indicator a very positive uh, sentiment out uh, of Germany for now uh, consensus is for 56.2 which is another jump there uh, and that underlines the positive news coming out on, uh, on GDP data and other uh, uh, leading indicators that are um, painting a very positive picture uh, in light of the quantitative easing, which actually still hasn't even started yet, doesn't start until March. Um, we then have a Bank of Japan policy statement, the, the culmination of their meeting, their monetary policy meeting. Uh, we're not expecting any move. There was a comment made by the BOJ last week that they did not intend um, to add to the monetary stimulus for now, so we don't expect uh, anything too much there. We, uh, the unemployment data, uh, called the claimant count, that's UK unemployment data, uh, still very positive uh, here in the UK. We noticed the CBI has now upped the uh, forecast for the UK economy this year as well. So quite a positive uh, backdrop uh, to uh, the uh, 
sterling markets uh, at the start of the week. Uh, we also have uh, some uh, inflation data from the sort of factory gates that were the producer price index uh, uh, in the United States uh, still prices falling there, so no pressure at all. And probably the most important, one of the most important events, the minutes from the uh, FOMC meeting a couple of weeks ago, the Federal Open Market Committee, the Rate Setting Committee of the Federal Reserve. Um, not expecting too much, really, apart from steady as she goes. Uh, we're expecting an interest rate rise, or the market is expecting an interest rate rise, uh, probably mid-year, around June is the expectation. Um, the minutes will probably support that, but as always, there can be a little bit of uncertainty, and that does have the ability to move the market. So, 7 o'clock, uh, best to be aware of that. Um, weekly unemployment claims, obviously, 1.30 on Thursday. And then we have uh, another reading on the manufacturing sector, um, which is um, uh, had been sort of bombing around a bit, but um, a positive number there from the previous month, 8.8 .8 on the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, the Philadelphia district, uh, uh, one of the more important manufacturing areas of the U.S. Uh, manufacturing sector, and that is watched quite closely. Uh, manufacturing PMIs on Friday will give us a further hint of uh, the recovery in um, the Eurozone, certainly uh, from the GDP data, and we're expecting more positive numbers published on this consensus, all um, better than the previous month. Uh, retail sales in the UK finishes off the um, week for us on the data front. Uh, so not a lot of data out this week. Um, as I say, a quietish day, possibly on uh, Monday, depending on whether the Eurogroup ministers manage to uh, come up with a deal for Greece on the debt restructuring. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the signs do not look good. So our suspicions are uh, we'll know about it later on in the week. But uh, I think we're going to struggle to get an agreement uh, uh, today from the Euro Eurogroup uh, meeting taking place in Brussels. Uh, that's it. Thanks very much for listening. And um, bye for now. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.